Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Sleep. Let's head in and check out last night's sleep research, see how things went for me. I hope you all slept well. Certainly was one of much needed sleep for me. It was another action packed day full of fun and excitement, so it was definitely one of those days going to sleep that was like, oh boy, did I need it. And of course, this is what I get to see. Sleep tracking unfortunately didn't actually start until 1.38 a.m. Even though I started tracking at 10 p.m. That is unfortunate. I really hate when that happens. Saying it took me, it didn't actually take me three hours and 38 minutes to fall asleep. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. So, dozing won't be the sleep type for today again. Ooh, sorry about that. 28 million drowsy power. Got the backup alarms, making sure I'm getting up on time. All two star and three star. Well, yes, also because of the fact that sleep score was significantly lower than usual. All right. I get tired of seeing these Pokemon because I'm starting to. Well, at least we got Ghastly in there. Bell Sprout, two Toxicroaks, a Mankey, and a Gulpin. Seems like they are just like the only Pokemon I'm gonna get to see this week. Like one or two oddball differences. It just wears on me a little bit. You always want to at least see something. I mean, at least there's like ghastly, so I have something that's a little different. Again, no hungry Pokemon. Oh, and cool. It's built, uh, at least partially fed. So, just gonna feed the ghastly. I know it's a little overkill, but at this point, I'm just ready to be done seeing dozing sleep type Pokemon. If I was in my Toxicroak Hong, like I was a few weeks ago, this would be great. I would have been doing fantastic. But as it is, seeing just like the same three or four species of Pokemon day in and day out, on top of sleep tracking not working like it's supposed to, just, just gets me a little, a little upset. But don't worry, it's a game. In like five minutes, I'm going to forget that that even happened. Well, at least until I talk about it again tomorrow. Bashful Nature Ghastly. It's an ingredient collector. Oof. Fiery herbs across the board. That is good to see. Let's see what we got. No berry collecting and no skill level up. Energy recovery bonus. Inventory up. Helping speed. Ingredient finder. And research EXP bonus as its capstone. With a no nature effect. Not bad. I'll have to plug that in. I haven't done a calculation since the day before, so I got a couple of Pokemon to do some math on. Not a complete recovery from the team. That's okay though. It's a chill week, so tomorrow, today is my last day of actual uh, travel, so. Tonight, I will be in my own regular bed, returning back to the studio tomorrow. So I am expecting to at least end the week on a strong note. <laughs> oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Get some sleep points. Seven seven seven. All right. Just fun to see some. When you get the odd numbers, when it's not just the round hundreds, it's fun to see. No additional news, which is to be expected. We probably won't see anything until after we get at least partially through the way for the Kramer event. 
We've got 39 sleep reports from the community. Good job, folks, getting to sleep. Hopefully you got better recorded sleep than I did. I'm hoping at least in like a future quality of life update they can do something about that. I get the whole fact that like it's supposed to do that like really once it recognizes like alright you stopped moving, stopped tossing and turning. But also at the same time, like three hours to start sleep tracking, that might really negatively impact someone that's like just a tossing and turning type person. Like why isn't it just start from the get go? A mystery for another day. Let's make some breakfast. The faster add on these ingredients has actually been a tremendous help of just getting in and out of this menu much quicker than I expected. And it's nice that I get a little bit of haptic feedback to it too, so you feel it. Add, 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 add. <laughs> Alright, no extra tasty this morning. But 18,000 dish strength is... It just feels good to have consistent, like, I know exactly how much relative to within a thousand points where things are going to be, because it really just depends on the additional ingredients. And it looks like we're getting our rank up. So going... Starting today on Ultra 4. We'll take a look at the rest of today and see how what my forecast for rank up is going to look like. Oh, no skill trigger wiggly tough. Okay, so we're at four hundred and forty-one thousand strength. Uh, the next rank up is forty-seven thousand. So not on cooking alone, but with some good sneaky, well, sneaky snacking is going to be a little bit difficult today with everyone starting from 70% energy. Oh well. At least I know this week's sleep report is going to be at least a B or C. Due to getting to bed on time, oh my goodness, face, eye, Thank you. That lighting. <laughs> this has just been a week of good learning experiences. Anyway. Yeah. Sleep report's gonna be low this week. But I'm alright with that. Going into Curry, gonna make sure that I'm getting correct and adequate rest. But with that, I've collected everything I've cooked. Nothing else to be done. Fingers accidentally tapping buttons. That is what I have for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know how your week's going in the comments below, and I'll see you back tomorrow for some more sleep research. But until then, sleep well.